Welcome. In this video, we'll explain the sample values and GOOSE protocol in more detail, which are part of the IC61850 standard. Then we will discuss spoofing cyber attacks on the GOOSE protocol, which can lead to the disconnection of power system components. But first, let's see where the IEC 61850 standards operates. This diagram shows how all the components inside the digital substation are connected. Typically, the IEC 61850 standard is deployed on the lower levels, namely the process and bay levels used for substation automation. It is used to report measurements to intelligent electronic devices and issue trip commands to the circuit breakers. There are several benefits of using the IEC 61850. First of all, it is a standard. That means that the relevant properties, format, and functioning are the same worldwide. Because of this, the standard will work the same in all cases, regardless of the location and vendor implementation. This allows the various intelligent electronic devices to be interoperable. So you can go to any vendor, pick up a digital relay, and it will work with hardly any adjustments with your existing infrastructure. This will make the substation automation and monitoring very straightforward, allowing for a broad deployment of this technology. The IC62850 standard has two main protocols, sample values and the generic object-oriented substation events, or GOOSE for short. Let's have a closer look at them, starting with the sample values protocol. In the substation, we have instrument transformers, such as current and voltage transformers, that facilitate accurate measurements. Now that the signals coming out are analog, a merging unit samples those waveforms and converts them uh, to, into a digital data stream for the various intelligent electronic devices. And this data stream is realized using the sample value protocol. Now let's see how a typical sample value uh, message looks like. At the top level, it has a destination and source address, a tag and ID, and then a placeholder for the data. Inside this placeholder, there is space for multiple data units. The structure of a data unit looks like this but it is essential to remember that the measurements are stored at the very end in the data sequence. Please note that there is no security mechanism to safeguard this data. Now let's have a look at the GOOSE protocol. Contrary to sample values, the GOOSE protocol is used for urgent messages. This message can be a trip command sent by the protection relays to the circle breaker. GOOSE is very fast. After the intelligent electronic device has sensed the short circuit, the circle breaker is opened by its actuator within four milliseconds to clear the fault. Similarly to sample values, a GOOSE message also has a destination and source address, a tag, and an ID. Inside the data placeholder, there are, again, various attributes. The GOOSE command indicating what should happen with the circle breaker is embedded in the data set. Similar to sample value, there is no security mechanism to safeguard this data. Now let us look at how a man-in-the-middle attack can exploit the vulnerabilities of the GOOSE protocol. The IEC 61850 standard by itself is not secure. It does not have any mechanisms that ensure the integrity and authenticity of the communicated data frames. Now, if attackers intrude in the substation communication network, they can perform network reconnaissance by monitoring the traffic on the process bus. For instance, they might capture GOOSE data frames and inspect how those are structured. Then they can use this knowledge to uh, craft a malicious goose packet by changing the status of the circle breaker and opening it. So how do they do this? Usually goose data frames are sent with a fixed time period, say every one second, to keep all the circle uh, breaker closed. But when there is a short circuit, we want to remove the fault quickly and cannot wait for the next cycle. In this case, the data frames are sent more granularly in milliseconds to instruct the actuator to open the circuit breaker. This is exactly how, uh, what the hacker does. They impersonate the protection relays by injecting spoof data frames into the network, targeting the actuator to open the circuit breaker. This results in the disconnection of a transmission line, transformer, or other equipment from the power grid. After the attack, the authentic data frames arrive. However, it is too late and manual actions are needed to restore the network. To summarize, we have discussed the advantages of using the IC62950 standard, ensuring its own interoperability and more efficient substation automation across the globe. Furthermore, we have discussed the two main protocols, sample values and GOOSE. The former is used to report measurements, while the latter is used for uh, more urgent tasks, such as circuit breaker trip commands. 
Finally, we have seen how the spoofing of goose messages work. By conducting network reconnaissance, it is possible to inject falsified data frames into the network, resulting in the disconnection of various power system equipment.